What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, who's ready to get extraterrestrial? Now, in today's video, I am debuting my fifth eyeshadow palette, and I am unveiling the entire 2018 holiday collection. Now, listen. I am so excited because this big old alien head is something that I've been working on for a long time and the color story inside is different than anything you guys have seen from Jeffree Star Cosmetics thus far. So in today's video we are going to dive in and unveil the of course alien eyeshadow palette. We're going to dive into eight velour liquid lipsticks for lip ammunition, for velour lip scrubs. We have a few accessories in here so girl let's get started. Now in the past, you guys know, I have only stuck to doing eyeshadow palettes in the shape of a square. We had Beauty Killer, we had Androgyny, we had Thirsty, and of course, you know I changed the game with the Blood Sugar palette and this crazy packaging that I did earlier this year. I'm gonna say the Blood Sugar is the palette of the year. T. Alright, so when I was creating the Alien palette, I was like, girl, I want to create a different shape. We have done the jewelry box moment. We've done, and there's 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 more coming. Y'all think this shape is the only one? Wait till next year. But when I was creating this, I was like, look, I am an alien. I want to create a palette that looks like an alien, and I want everything to be very earthy, weird, greens, purples, just like a whole weird palette. Because I feel like this year there has been so many warm tone palettes. There is so many of the same things. Like if I see one more brown neutral palette, girl. If you guys want to know the inspiration behind all of this, when I shaved off my eyebrows for the very first time in 10th grade, I was living with my grandparents, they were raising me while my mom was getting sober, um, and I shaved them off, right? I was like, girl, I have good grades, I'm gonna really take it there. And they're like, alright girl, you can look however you want, as long as you're good in school. So when I shaved them off, the next day, my grandpa, um, who rest in peace, is no longer with us, but he looked at me and he goes, now you're my little alien, and it just like really stuck throughout my whole life. And of course, having no brows, I get called an alien a lot. So I thought, what better way to create my own palette? So, you guys ready to see the inside? Let's do it. Alright, so before we even open it, I want to show you guys the palette. I know a lot of people weren't sure how thick or thin this was. Girl, this is a nice palette. It's very sturdy. So of course we have the faux leather, which is not real on the outside, but it is very soft and buttery. It feels very real, but it's not. So you guys can see that the eyes are actually 3D. They are industrial plastic. I'm pressing on these and you guys can see that they are really sturdy and I just wanted like a 3D aspect that was like kind of coming alive. And you guys can see of course that there is a hinge right here at the top. Of course we have the info on the back. And when you open it, it's very easy. All you do is you take your thumb and you can slide it this way or this way. Of course, there is magnets all around here, so when it is not moving, it is fully in place. Let's unveil the colors. All right, you guys, here is the Alien Palette. Yes, I'm like my own cheerleader right now. All right, you guys, this color story is very different than anything I have done before. As you guys see, there are 18 shades, just like Blood Sugar, same formula. You got beautiful metallics, you have pure, super pigmented mattes, and you have a whole array of an extraterrestrial palette. I am so, I'm just so giddy, you guys. So immediately, what colors do you gravitate to? Pause the video, sound off below. I wanna know what you guys, like what your initial thoughts are. This was a dream palette of mine that I didn't really see on the market and I just wanted a lot of greens and a lot of weirdness. So, of course, there is a whole array of colors on my eyes. We're about to touch them all and play with them. But I want to give you guys a few tidbits. Um, this palette does retail for $52. So with 18 shades, you are paying $2.80 per shade. Now, of course, these are the same pans as Thirsty and Blood Sugar. You get a lot of product. And of course, you may notice that a few of the pans do have uh, some characters in there. We got a little flying saucer abduction moment. And then we have an alien head right here. All right, I think it's time to go down each row and let's talk about the shades. All right, I also want to mention that this is the unit carton that the alien palette comes in. It is very spacey, of course, and all the info is on the back. Of course, just like my entire brand, everything is vegan and cruelty free. All right, let's dive into the shades. All right, so the first shade that is in the palette is called Pluto. So quick backstory, I'm not gonna run my mouth about all of these, but some of them do have some cute stories. I did a project in sixth grade. You had to pick your favorite planet. That was actually what it was. And I picked Pluto, which isn't Pluto not deemed a planet anymore. It's like a chunk of ice. 
Regardless, can't relate. It was my favorite planet. It was blue, way, way far out there, and cold. Like my heart. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so Pluto is a very icy shade, but it has a duochrome shift to it. So I'm gonna ruin the star pans and I'm gonna go in there. Now these are so soft and buttery. I'm just gonna take this and just put it on my hand right here so you guys can see the shift. It does have a really cool peachy yellow like shift in there, but also being really icy and blinding. Now the next shade is called Titan, which is one of the moons of Saturn. Thank you, Nathan, for naming that shade. And it is a really nice, like ivory bone white color that just has just really nice to lay down when you're just wanting to you know do a quick little smoky eye or if you want to take it to an intergalactic level it is perfect for putting everywhere from the lid all the way up to the brow bone oh you guys know my mats are so buttery and they're so soft so i'm just gonna put this one right there bam and then you guys can really see the tone of it the next shade is of course the name of the palette alien which is a really neon Bright green. I love this shade. I'm actually wearing it today a little bit above here on the brow bone By the way, my mama Mitchell slayed my makeup. There will be a video on this tutorial coming up um, very soon So alien right here. It is a really cool green. I am obsessed with this color I've never made a color like this. So I really wanted to just take it there. Oh I love that it does of course have a shift to it and it is really blinding um, on set when we did the crazy prosthetics alien head when Nicole was doing the beauty makeup she used this shade as a highlighter as well girl I was obsessed all right the next shade it's gonna be a little hard to see on camera how it really looks but it is called interstellar and the reason why I said that is because it has a really weird gold, like a white gold, almost like antique, and it just has such a cool finish. Oh, I love that. And that color is actually in here, right in that lid right there. I'm gonna look down for you guys. I also forgot to show you guys, of course, when you flip this palette up, we have a big mirror. Excuse all my dirty fingerprints. I know that is so unprofessional. Yeah, there's a really big mirror. And what I like to do on my vanity, because I know a lot of people are like, girl, how big is that alien head? When you fold it back and it sits on the eyes, it is literally perfect. It holds itself up and it sits right on your vanity. It is a little big, but it's not like massive where you really can't like throw it in a bag. Like when you compare it to blood sugar, it's like... Not too bad. So the next shade is called Abduction, and I really wanted to make a chartreuse matte. Like, I have never done a shade like this before, so I was like, you know what, we gotta do something really cool. And this shade is actually on um, right here in the brow bone and going down like that. And this shade we're just gonna tuck right here for now. Oh, yes. Bam. Literally is the same color as this shirt. Work. The next shade is called UFO for obvious reasons. We love aliens. So UFO, it's this beautiful green gold and I'm just gonna show you it right here on my hand. Bam, it is so soft and it has a lot of payoff. Like this all over the lid, ugh. The next shade is called Gravity, Gravity! And she is a really good transition color. I love just popping this right in my crease. I've secretly been using this one for a while on my channel and having to pretend it was something else because I couldn't leak my own stuff. <laughs> but this shade, we'll put her right here. Oh, it's so good. All these together, like, hi, good morning. The next one is one of my favorite shades in the palette. It is called Martian Soil. And this is the shade that Nicole buffed under my eyes when I was wearing the big alien head and it is so good. It's like a really cool mustard, and I just love it for blending. It's so pretty. Bam. All right, now the next shade is called Flying Saucer. As you see, there is a little bit of a design in the pan right there. It's so good, I don't wanna ruin it, but we have to. Um, okay, so these fingers have some shadows on them, but this middle finger does not. So I want you guys just to see, because greens and purples are very hard to make, especially with a vegan formula. So I want you guys just, just to see on my clean finger. I'm just gonna rub in there for a second. Hello, payoff. This is a really good green. And we're just gonna tuck this one right there. Bam. One swipe, bitch, you know this brand? We're not playing games. The next shade is called Phone Home. 
Now, E.T. is one of my favorite movies of all time, so if you've never seen it, I'm shook. All right, but this color is a beautiful, weird mauvey brown that is really good for smoky eyes, really good for transition, or just anywhere you want to put it. I love it. It's also very kind of like, almost like deceased liquid lipstick, so that's kind of where I got that inspiration for, um, and it's very ethereal. The next shade is called Moon Rock. If you are a cannabis smoker, you know what Moon Rock is, honey. And this is like a really cool, like just foresty green that has gold in it. I really wanted to have gold be an undertone theme in this palette. And I think I really got a good one with that one. Oh, I love this color. Now this one is tucked right in there with Alien right over there. Hello, lids. Okay, now, the next shade is called X-Files. Hi. And of course, there is a big old alien head in there. I love. Now, the alien emoji, that is my most used emoji on my iPhone, and I have just loved aliens forever, so I had to put an alien in there. Now, this is a literal pure khaki army green, and it is so good on the eyes. I'm just gonna put this one right here. Come on, hands, we're running out of room. Bam! Oh, I love a good khaki. Okay, the next shade is called Ghost OG. One of my favorite strains, and I love a ghoul. Now, this one is a really dark, dark army, like, for and I wouldn't say forest green, but like, it's just a really dark army green. I love it, it goes perfect with everything in this palette, and I'm just gonna tuck this one right in there so you guys can see the shades. Bam, hello. Oh. Now the next shade, Area 51, it is a standout shade in this palette. It is a beautiful, rich, royal purple. I am wearing it today. It's all in here. Mitchell blended it with like five other colors and it just looks so stunning. Um, and this packed over all over the lid as well. Lord Jesus! So you guys, I had to wipe off my hands. My fingers are getting a little messy. And I'm just gonna go like this. One, two, three. You guys, this purple is not playing games! It is really hard to perfect a purple, but I said, girl, if we're gonna do one, we're gonna do one. So I know I wanna have all the colors on my hand, so I'm gonna start moving up over here. I'm just gonna put this on my middle finger, maybe? See how it looks, works on the skin? But this purple, you guys, I know that's so messy. I'm so sorry. Let me rub it in, there we go. It is a good purple. Excuse my messiness, there we go. Bam, hello, how are you? All right, the next shade is a really cool metallic brown with some pearl in there, and it is called Space Cowboy. Now this shade, let's just put it right here. Yes, fingers. Ooh, the texture on your fingers is a little different than right here. All right, you guys can see that it is a really cool, here there it is on my finger right here. It's just a really cool different metallic brown that just has such a like amazing metallic finish. Bam. Yes, hands. Now the next shade is called Probe and it's right here. It is a really cool, literal, like, almost like Predator alien skin and it has such a really, like, interesting shift to it. Let's use this finger right here. And there it is. Oh my god, hi. I'm just gonna swatch it right here. It is so cool, it has such a dope effect. It's almost like an oil slick. It has like a brown undertone, but then it has that really cool foresty green shift to it. All right, so shade Tall Gray is right here. It is a really cool gray with a blue undertone, and that is blended under these lashes right here with a little bit of an uh, abduction under it. Now, Tall Gray, of course, if you guys don't know what Tall Gray is, it's an alien. And it is on my pinky, and I am obsessed with this color. Let's try to make it fit right there. Bam. Now, I, I, I couldn't believe it when I sat down to finish this palette. I couldn't believe that I have never made a pure black matte shadow. What the hell? So here is Black Hole, of course, the blackest in the universe. It is really rich in pigment and I just cleaned my hands off. I'm just gonna take two fingers right here. We'll do one and we'll do two. And this is pure like, y'all know if I was gonna make a black shadow, I was not gonna play games. So I am, look, I'm running out of room here. Ugh, maybe in between here, like, hi, bam. Well, there you go. <laughs> I'm like, you guys can see it has one swipe coverage and there's still some left on my finger. It is very pigmented, um, but there is not a lot of fallout, which you guys know I have been trying to perfect and girl, I'm very happy with this formula. So 
You guys, here is the alien palette. Oh my god. And of course, there is and will be a lot of pictures all over social media of all different skin tones wearing this in all the campaigns and swatches. So, of course, head on over to the brand cosmetics page for all of that info. All right, so sound off below and let me know what you guys think of the palette. Now it's time to dive in into the lipsticks. Every holiday season, we change the packaging for everything. Um, and this year, now listen, last year, we had the crazy Barbie pink glitter. Bam, this is what it looked like. I loved how it looked. I loved the glitter. Ugh, just for a packaging standpoint, it was hard to accomplish. But I said, you know what? If I got to figure it out, let me do it again. But let me do it more weird. I wanted the glitter to almost look like it was on fire. I know that sounds weird, but like very alien space. I was watching some crazy movies. Girl, you know I was smoking good and I just wanted something to just sparkle insane so this year first of all here is what the unit carton looks like it is a beautiful white that has a really cool iridescent tone to it now because of the beauty lights it's not really showing you the reflection so I'm gonna turn off a light or two and oh look at that highlight bitch and look at it has like a rainbow shift to it so excuse my studio lighting but now you guys can see the real tea so the first shade before i pull it out is called can't relate um of course you guys know it has been such a viral thing that i said earlier this year it's taken over girl it's a movement so this is the shade can't relate i know you guys are probably thinking jeffrey how many nudes can you make? I had to make another one, you know I had to. So this is kind of like if Skin Tight and Mannequin had a baby, it is just a different tone than what I've ever made before. Um, so when I pull it out of the box, bam, here is the packaging reveal. Now we're gonna dim the lights right now because it is not showing off this glitter like it should. But you guys know this YouTube lighting is, is a little tricky. So so now you guys can see the full effect of the glitter. It looks so pretty in daylight, in the sun, at night. It's just these YouTube lights that are making it a little dull, but it is full, beautiful gold fire glitter against white with gold trim. It looks stunning. So there is eight velour liquid lips for this holiday season. I am going to be showing them off, but while I have this lip on, I want to show you guys something new that I created. Of course, you guys know I have made lip ammunition before with a satin formula. We did a few glitters, but this year I wanted to make a different formula than what I've created before. So this is a satin glitter formula that you can use by itself or over any liquid lip or lipstick. So let me pull one out here. All right, we have shade Alien Tears. Of course, the component will match the liquid lip, but I did a pink chrome top instead of gold just because, you know, throwing it around a little differently this year. All right, so this one, I'm just gonna put over, oh, let's put it in the center of Can't Relate. There's literally two swipes right there. Bam, and then you can take your finger if you want, blend the edges, and it gives such a really cool glittery effect. Mwah. And then real quickly, I wanna show you guys how it looks by itself, it is really, glittery and reflective. So let's get back into the Velour Liquid Lips. There are so many shades here, so let's dive into one of my favorites of all time. It is a beautiful khaki green to go with the Alien palette, and this shade is called Karma. Yes, honey, Karma has been really working this year, and I wanna show you guys this color. It is so pretty. It is like a beautiful, weird, just like, what do you want to call it? An exorcist green. All right, I just quickly put Can't Relate next to Karma. And now the next shade, there's a little hard to tell um, in the component because of all the glitter, but this shade is called Jeffrey Who? You guys know why. It's been a wild year. I like to make jokes and have a fucking good time. So Jeffrey Who? Jeffrey's right here, girl. And this shade is such a beautiful, well, you're, you're about to see what color. It's like Calabasas, but like a diet Calabasas. It's so pretty and has such a really cool, rosy, warm tone to it, and it is stunning! All right, the next shade is called Scandal! Girl, Scandal is a really pretty lavender moment, and she has a little bit of sparkle in her, and when it dries, the reflex are really pretty. But this is a color I haven't really created before. It's just kind of soft, more on like the mauve rose tone, and it is stunning. All right, now the next shade is called Hi, How Are Ya? And it is a beautiful holiday red that has really pretty mica and reflex of red glitter in this. 
and when it dries, you just rub your lips together and the formula really has that glitter pull through. But it is such a pretty Christmas red berry. The next shade is a beautiful metallic lavender purple and it is called Clout. It is the purple version of Thirst Trap, which came out this summer. Same type of really blinding metallic formula. I'm obsessed with this one. Even as like a base for eyeshadow, remember you guys, my liquid lips are vegan and eye safe, so you can lay these down as a base, you can use them as eyeliner, you can do whatever you want with them. Now this shade has so much pigment and it is really, really blinding. Now the next shade, I already told you guys the name online, and <laughs> it had to be done. It is this really unique navy blue metallic called You're Still on the Property. You still record at that, I believe the property. Are we still on the property? We always are. You know, this blue, I am in love with it. It's very different than the blues I've made before, and it has such a, like, a cool shift when it dries. The last shade, last but not least, is a beautiful, really blackened plum, and it is called Triggered. I love how it looks in the component with the glitter against it, and let's give you guys a little swatch so you can see what she looks like. It also has a little bit of glitter in it as well. I wanted to create something different, you guys. I have over 60 liquid lipsticks on my website. Can you believe I made that many colors? I'm like, whoa. Um, so I wanted to just take it there and do something a little unique. You know, I mean, everything's always unique, but I'm like, what else can we do? And I, this was definitely missing from my roster, so there is Triggered. Now let's dive in right back to the lip ammunition. Now remember, this shade is called Alien Tears. We have three more shades, and this one is called Galaxy Gold. It is such a unique gold. It is very metallic. It packs a punch, and... <sighs> the liquid lips have no fragrance, but the lip ammos are like a vanilla bean creme brulee. You guys know I am dessert obsessed, and these smell so yummy. So, of course, um, we'll just tuck her right in here, and here is Galaxy Gold. This next shade is a really cute, amazing, multi-dimensional bronze color, and it's called Beam Me Up! And I love this color! We're just gonna put her, we'll put her down here. Bam! You guys can see that it has kind of like a weird like gold, green, pinky shift to it, and these are so blinding. The fourth lip ammunition shade is this really weird, amazing, metallic, glitter green, and it's called Area 51, just like the purple shade in the palette. I wanted to have a little cohesive moment, and this green really packs a punch. I'm just gonna put it right here in my hand, like bam. I know that is a horrible swatch, you guys. I'm so sorry, but let me just kind of rub it around here. By itself, it is so pretty. Mmm, yes. All right, you guys, so here are all eight Velour liquid lipsticks, which of course retail for $18, as well as all four lip ammunition glitters, which of course are $18 as well. I wanna hear your thoughts. What colors are you living for? What do you need and love? And what do you desire? All right, you guys, let's move on to the lip scrubs because you know mama needs to keep your lips smooth. Now, for holiday, I am giving you guys four Velour Lip Scrubs. Let's talk about the flavors. Of course, these are vegan, they are edible, they are really good for prepping your lips before any lipstick, any liquid lip, any lip liner, girl, anything. Or really good for dry patches on your skin, you could exfoliate. Honey, we love a multitasking product. Now, the first shade, of course, hi, it's holiday, is eggnog. Hello. How have I never done eggnog before? I'm so sorry, you guys. Let's show you guys, of course, the component. It is the same glittery finish as everything else. And, oh, this smells so good. I wish you could smell it through the screen, but girl. The second flavor is pumpkin pie. Now, it, pumpkin pie is my favorite dessert of the holiday season, and I really wanted to capture that moment with like pumpkin pie with whipped cream on top. So this, oh, it is so yummy. All right, the third flavor is one of my favorite things ever to eat, and that is French toast. Oh my god, I'm on a food cake, you guys. Now this one, now the sugar is a beautiful dark chocolate uh, brown color. Mmm, you just taste like that, br like I captured literal French toast. You taste the bread and the syrup. 
Ah, oh, right in your mouth. Hi, breakfast. How are ya? Last but not least, the fourth and final flavor is salted caramel. Caramel? Caramel? Wherever you're from, I know we all say caramel different. <laughs> salted caramel, not salted nuts, is one of my favorite things to drizzle on top of ice cream. I just love toppings. Mm. Wow, sorry. I was like really like, mm, I'm hungry. Mm. But if you love salted caramel, this literally captures the flavor to a T. All right, so the makeup bags have been such a huge hit. I wanted to make one to really fully pull this collection together. So here is the white with green glitter um, makeup bag. It is very iridescent and pretty, and we're gonna turn off one light for a second so you can really see how it glows. Ooh, there we go. Hello, hi. All right, now I do have some other alien-inspired colors coming out for travel and makeup bags that will be coming out around Black Friday and also trickling in in December, but I did want to show you guys a little few sneak peeks. So here is one of the wild colors. It is a lime holographic, so that's coming soon. Not with this collection, but very soon. And also this beautiful alien vegan travel bag. These will be, of course, restocked in the other shades very soon and more colors coming. All right, you guys, November 9th, this is when the entire collection is launching. I am so excited, of course, as always, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, that is 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and if you don't know your time zone, girl, do a quick Google search. All right, you guys, sound off below. Let me know all your thoughts. I am so excited. I cannot believe that my fifth baby is about to enter the world. It just feels so crazy. I feel like Beauty Killer literally just came out. And here we are. Um, also, November on Black Friday is the company's four year anniversary. It's been such a magical journey thus far. Um, and there's so much more in store. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I can't wait to see all the looks that you guys create with the Alien palette and the whole collection. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Mwah. Bye guys.